Welcome back. I think this is a very Tundra style draft. They got everything they wanted. They're playing into something that's very greedy. I'm going to go Tundra. Heroic, this is by far, has proven themselves as the best team in South America right now. They got a chance against Tundra here if they're going to bring their A game. Like, you're either going to get him on, you know, some mid shadow shaman and he's 0 and 8, or like he's playing Dawnbreaker and he goes 20 and 0 versus you. He's Invoker, he's styling on you. Will it be Dogson or will it be Godson? Yeah, but they're so afraid of their Wisdom Rune getting stolen, they're actually going to back away and three-man bodyguard this one. Pure's going to go for it because the Weaver is one of the best carries to try and contest this exact situation. They're going to try and pull him away from this Wisdom Rune, see if they can get it. Manage to hit the stun and Divine Llama gets it, but now he's low. Hit by the tornado, he's going to come back down to Earth and have a hard landing. So does KJ. King Jungles goes down and Skullfield the third man down in this fight. Yeah, they got their wisdom room. They protected it, but losing three heroes in the process, it was not worth it. It, it could get nasty around the map, but it's the onus is on Tundra to snowball, right? If the game, if the map gets shut down a bit, if Hero can stall out this early game, they can recover. My Llama, I think he uh, spotted the Ghost Walk or something, knew that the Invoker was here, but ultimately his retreat was into a dead end. If you lose enough of the map here that you can't secure those, you are going to start bleeding a lot more than just supports around the map. And the Bai Lama TP's down here. There's nothing off this play. This man does not like when his teammates start feeding around the map. And Pure, he goes through the gate with the Bai Lama. Follows him everywhere he goes. <laughs> kills him and gives him a tip too while he goes down to his grave. Yeah, to kind of deal with the Invoker, deal with the Weaver. But his game has just been low. You are starting to lose some power. Oh, great ice path on two. They needed some serious setup to be able to make these kisses land, and it's still not enough. And now Ramsey's coming in with the arena. He hits KJ with his spear once again. He is making no qualms about just dropping this arena whenever he wants to pick up more kills. Meanwhile, Tundra just running around with Invoker Marana Edge. They can they can start to poke you down, see what's happening. Plays like this, you're scouting out, getting information at fairly low risk. Yeah, speaking of getting in there. Marana and Enchantress can play in your jungle and Heroic really do not have the heroes to go for the punish. You saw how easily Soxa was able to evade Dubai Lama's attempts. You're going to have to just plow through some of these teams that are going to take advantage of it and have a lead and just make the recovery. So if you have a play style, you kind of have to just rock it and Divai Lama TP's in. The rest of Heroic are making a mass move over here, but are they going to be able to grab anything? This time they do manage to get the gun. The ice pad lands onto Thompson. That is a better target than any support, and they will manage to bring him down. The Kiss is looking for more heroes. You saw the long lobs there of fire trying to look for additional heroes. They do not get anything else out of it, though. Like, he is the biggest prize right now. Slow down the, the momentum, relieve some of the pressure on your Oh, board. Sox is still around, but so is Ramses. They managed to hit him with the arrow here. Sox has got to be careful. The ice path that's coming out hits him. Does not hit him, but Analog hiding away in the meld. They don't have detection right now. They are going to be able to blink away before the near. Making some space. The bug, it reveals the snap fire, and it is so much minus armor that Schofield dies in an instant. He commits for it. Job done. He's gonna pay the price. He'll find a Bai Lama who does not have a BKB, so no way out of this one. Tornado Sunstrike lands perfectly. As undoubtedly he when he runs down these lanes, he knows it's gonna be a BKB TP away. He's trying to stall as much time as possible yeah. and set up for a play. Oh, oh yeah, Ramses! He throws out the arena with the BKB, turns around. Is he going to try and commit for the kill on Jakiro? No, he knows the damage is too much from Analog. He's just got to get out of here. Cannot afford any pickoffs right now. Schofield's going to try and slow down this push forward from Tundra Heroes. But Ramses, he pounces once again. Schofield hits him with the cookie. Just to buy two more seconds of time before he goes down. While Pure, he already caught Divine Lava. And now he's looking to get more. While the Glyphnir might be able to get this Templar Assassin. Soxa not able to get an arrow out. But the damage is still enough. They get him on the high ground. And Ramses isn't done yet. Pins KJ for a third kill on this Jakiro. He just will not stop hunting down this support. You're looking at five right clickers that are all going to be buffed up by Solar Flare. Yeah, that sounds extremely difficult to overcome. Get the spear back. 
Even if it doesn't come with a stun, the reposition is good enough. Divine Llama jumps in after him, pops a BKB, and finds that five Rick right clickers is indeed a problem for him. It's chasing in pure. Oh, it's some chain trouble. Stun. Chain stun. He's going to lose that Aegis, though. Ramses does manage to hit a beautiful pin onto Schofield with the arena locking down three. All he needs is the heroes to follow him up. He'll die inside of his arena. The heroes couldn't get there in time from the side of Tundra, though they will grab that gem. See if Pure is able to get out with it, though. He's away, out from underneath the tower. No problem there. You have to close it out against him. Next row shot, I think, is the most pivotal here. And you're going to push ahead of that timer. And with the sight. Follow up, chain stun, spear. And they've got the damage. That's a huge grab from Ramsey's. Putting the hex instantly to use. Finds the biggest target. Can't beat can't be TP out of that, my friend. Well, there's the pick off to let them take at least one lane of barracks, unless Dubai Llama can do something about it, but his jump has already failed, and his BKB is wasted. Should be a lane of racks for Tundra. See how much more they can get off this. Still 40 seconds on that Dragon Knight respawn. You're going to have another jump, potentially, from Ramses here, if you really want to just stay around. Arena's back up at 25. Got to jump on a pure chain stun it, and it, oh, they managed to bring him down. Wow, didn't lose anybody for it either. Now Tundra's going to start backing away. Mortimer's Kiss is going to be used to try and chase these heroes. Slowing them down as best they can. Ramses does manage to get a spear back onto Analog. That'll create some space. White Mon gets his TP canceled, though. Divine Llama fights the second kill. The Ice Path lands onto Ramses as well. He'll get a third kill out of that. K1 Hector who? They didn't need him, apparently. Managed to make a four versus five work for them. Got three kills for nothing out of it. Still a 6,000 net worth lead for Tundra, and they have an Aegis to work with. Taking the mid lane to barracks, and they're looking to take this final tier two. But heroic! Oh, oh the tornado right as he blinked oh, it for the kill. And now the Manta! Oh, he managed to dodge both of the stuns that were coming out from heroic. Their initiation falls flat, and Pure is going to be able to get off the ultimate. So they are clean here. They're going to be able to chase down heroic heroes no problem. Can they get anybody else? A beautiful ice path. Ice Macro path. fire. Not Thompson. too bad. Tuncho Thompson's dying. Oh, what a trap laid out from King Jungles on the high ground. It's just the perfect ice path. It's hard to recognize that, like, okay, at some point in time, you got to be the aggressors, and I feel like that time is now for Heroic. They're poking. By Llama, he's going to jump for it with his BKB. Managed to get the bash onto Ramses, hits a stun on Asaksa. Both are able to retreat a bit here. Dubai Llama's going to run out of his BKB with the arena, keeping back the rest of Heroic. He is isolated, caught and killed. An arrow goes down, trying to search for more heroes, but Heroic will retreat. Pretty tanky here, but not the highest damage output item, if it comes down to it. They want to jump him. Oh, the Manta gets off the BKB, turns around, stuns up Ramses. Now Ramses gets psyched on top of that one, attempt to hit him with a cookie. Pierre's going to jump forward, go for Schofield, Schofield. He'll be diced up by that damage. BKB has to go up from Dubai Llama as Ramses attempts to catch him inside of the arena with a spear to go. Lightnir leading into Tornado. The Kisses gets canceled. Now Ramses tries to counter hex, but he gets counter hexed. Can they blow up up in time? They're trying for it. They throw it off their stunts, but he managed to get off his BKB arena. Now they're turning around. Pure gets a little bit low here off of this one, but got off his ultimate. A second arena being used, surrounded by walls after walls. Hector's not getting out of this one. As all those BKB usages early on means that his BKB does not last long anymore. A second lane of barracks taken by Tundra and three minutes ago on the Aegis. Seeing the BKBs, you're missing the Marcy ult. This is just Megas uncontested. And they're going to keep the pressure up. They're going to go for the tier fours. Wall analog is still dead for 45 seconds. Heroic going to have to go for another miracle hold here like they did in the bottom lane earlier. Another four versus five. Now it's going to be a three versus five. They do manage to jump pure, but again, he's got the Aegis. So as much as they can commit to try and finish him off, what does it matter if he's still got a second life right around the corner? And that is going to be it. Heroic are going to call GG on this game one. They just got... I don't want to say they got run over, but it did not feel like they had any plays in that game. And you should not underestimate how much the Sark can do in some of these early fights if he starts building up early stacks. Like, he he can be annoying. And there's not a lot of control for him. You have Arena, but that's it. Thanks, you the cookie there from Soxa. Problem. But being in the five position lane has not gone so well here for Soxa. No. He, as he a roll hit yeah. from Anil, he thought he Ooh. survived, and all of a sudden, Analog from downtown rolls in and gives him a good kick. 
Dragon Knight potentially have the wave coming in. I mean, Pure offers nothing here in terms of trying to turn it around. They're going to have White Mon TP in as the Jakiro to try and help this situation. The dime is still going to continue, though. They just bail. <laughs> good luck, team. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Oh, the Shrapnel is going to be able to reveal Divide Lama. He's trying to get away, but the Shrapnel and now the Dual Breast slowing him down. He doesn't have a pounce to be able to jump out, so he's going to be relying entirely on juking through the trees, and that's just not going to work for you against three different heroes all looking for you. I was going to say, the one lane I was maybe the most worried about was the Sniper versus Melee Hero mid, but honestly, Analog, he's gotten through it, and... I mean, this would be a massive pickup if they can kill Thompson in the early game. Thompson has made this rotation, but the supports have come with him. Oh, they yeah, hit him with a blood though. grenade, still might be able to make commit as the Magnetize is taking him down. Analog has got the kill, no problem, and he's going to look for more. He's got White Mod, now he's going to go for the support as well. Analog playing that beautifully. His Earth Spirit is top tier, and he understood in that situation, Magnetize is inevitable. We saw this hero first pick for a reason. It did some work game one. In terms of the objective taking and KJ putting it to work here, nice two-man stop. That's right, true to his name, King Jungles comes out with the Enchantress trying to use the jungle to his advantage to take that mid tower. Does force a lot of rotations to protect that mid tower because it's a sniper, but that leaves Dragonite all alone. <laughs> Still Schofield protecting their wards here. Does not want to let Tundra back into the high ground, and <laughs> they knew White Mon could not stop himself from going up to that high ground and checking out this ancient stack that they have for themselves, but there will be the punish back. Ramses gets the arena onto Dubai Lama. Nowhere he can go. He's going to be shot down by Thompson. And now they can maybe clear through that ancient stack, though. They're going to have to do it as a group if they really want to. Heroic is not going anywhere, though. They still have this magnetized use, and they've got the vision to be able to blow up Soxa. Got a kick to slow down Thompson, allowing Schofield to catch up. Now he's inside the car. And now he is screwed. He is stuck inside the cog. The battery assault and analog right there as well. Wait, a pushback for God's rebuke. They're doing the damage. He's actually going to be okay for now. It's King Jungles committing for the kill, trying to get him, and he does manage to. Ever so barely, he gets his level six, and it's going to be a slow death, if a death at all. He has a TP scroll, Hector. and he's got Hector bailing him out. No, the God's rebuke stops him from being able to land, stops him from hitting that additional new King Jungles will finally die as it's it's going to be the supports limping over the finish line to be able to get these kills they're looking for. Great fight with the amp damage rune just powering it all up. Thunder happy to get through that exchange, get some ancient camps for the Dragon Knight. They'll bleed out another support as Heroic continue to just pick up the pace. Bet you he wishes he was Wraith King right now with all this space, man. It always does kind of weird me out seeing Hector playing a non-strength hero. He's caught here and, and he long. is should be dying here is the trickery and only take him so far but if he gets outside of vision good thing the kisses were used because he was getting away and might have been able cool. to jump into the trees Soxa uh, wise as he is in theory you should not feel bad if you're heroic because you're continuing to push tundra into this one part of the map like bottom lane has been oh got him first. again Ever so barely, but catches K1 Hector on the edge of the arena. And this is going to be a constant problem for him until he can get the shard or a BKB on the Monkey King. A lot of this fight comes down to magnetize, how much it can do, how many heroes it sticks on. You have max stones up, nine stones to play with here if you're analog. They spot Soxa, go for him. Arena goes out, immediately locks down the spirit underneath the macro fire. They go for the hook shot though. They're trying to stick on top of Thompson. Thompson gets pulled away from Divide Llama, who sticks on a pure instead with the magnetize on some of these heroes though. Destroyed. They are taking down, but the team fight, oh, nice kick through from analog, finishes off Thompson at least. Fine. And the Dragon Knight takes out as well. The magnetize is still going on. He's gonna get a third kill out of this situation, I think, as White Mod thought about the TP away. <laughs> okay, what heck? finally shows up. King Jungles will be the one to claim the kill on White Mon at the end. See if uh, Dubai Llama managed to make the read that that word just got placed there. Andre very split, but they want to go triangle here off a scan. That's what they're really looking for. They find the monkey again. So Trickery low. dodges some of the damage, but yeah, he was farming up some ancients, I think. He got super low off of it. A pounce lands on Ramses. He says, okay, no problem. Pops BKB, walks away. 
you're still looking for this Deso on Ramsey, so he's missing some net worth, and it's a big flank coming through. Yeah, let's get the wrap around it. They're going to find the supports immediately. The Shakiro is going to be the first one to be gone on here. He does manage to get off his ice pad. Macro yeah. fire, not too bad, but it's going to be oh, a BKB, analog. K1 Hector. Analog hits the back line. He found what he was looking for. That's going to be Sapphire and the Sniper caught in his assault, and that means the other two cores going to just BKB gone. TP away, but Ramsey's didn't make it out. Ticked out to the magnetize, I think, right? Enemies. And it looks like White Mon's gonna get caught up in this one. Heroic, I think they they want more. They want something different. That's why the jetpack and why they didn't immediately oh, jump. But they caught him too. Oh, the hook shot from across the field catches Thompson. They wanted something better off that smoke, and by golly, they found it. I do not know if he should have gotten out of that one, but <laughs> no, I don't he think will so. live to fight another day. And He's it's a big life. He's going to roll after them anyway, despite his BKB being down. They still want to take this team fight with K1 Hector's BKB, but it looks like it may have awesome Kemtra. It's trying to help him out, but the kids are going to come in and they'll do the AoE damage. In fact, to Vi Llama, he's going to TP away underneath his own ultimate in Depth Shroud. Heroic want to bail. He just figures that if the Slark oh, is, is going to see him, he's going to be able to blink away faster. Analog would be a great pick off, and he's going to hit him with the Spear Arena combo. His team, though, is not able to follow it up immediately, and Analog gets off the BKB, and he can walk away from the team right if he wants to. Hector's right in the middle of all these heroes, but he just got burned out. Macropire, Ice Path, and just raw physical damage from Pure is enough to put him down, and it's going to take the Vi Llama out of the fight as well. Analog trying to clean something up, but he finds nothing here as Ramsey's TP's Jesus out of time. By the way, very limited buybacks available for Heroic on this dire side. You only have Sark and Clock. Okay, so Divine Llama, maybe he's got to be the one to start things off, but they managed to hit the hook shot, or excuse me, the arena on Schofield, who was looking for a hook shot opportunity. Well, there's going to be your first buyback, one of two for Heroic. Divine Llama. Uh, he's going to put himself on the front lines here. Start going on to Soxo. Thompson. Just meant to force himself, but Analog gets on top to Thompson with Hector there as well. It's easy for them to get the kill on the Sniper, who does have a buyback, though, and he's going to use it now. Kiss is going out. Clockwork, a dieback for him. A roll in to be able to stop those Kisses, though. And now Sox is up next, but a Spear bails him out for a second. They turn around, throw on so whatever damage they can out to Analog. Pure is taking a lot, though, with two cores on top. Of the Look at the damage, though. Oh, it's adding up quick. He's taking down one core. The AoE has brought Hector low. He'll finish him off with a triple kill maybe an ultra as he looks now towards the enchantress to slowly get him down through that ultimate and they will win that roshan fight engagement now they're not gonna go for roshan immediately it's still not up so let's hit some high ground they got a little bit of ability and item usage out of him while still pushing forward taking the tier three now the barracks to fall the damage adds up though from the enchantress gets pure a bit low <laughs> Not letting the D4 to happen. Thompson protected. They go for the roll in on the Dragonite, though. Silencing him up. Half well, he doesn't have Dragon form for a couple more seconds, but he does get low, but not good low enough. Meanwhile, K1 Hector is trapped inside the arena and sized up. He's dead. Not enough the control. butterfly didn't matter. He just got controlled and killed by everything else. The Vi Llama's trying to do what he can, but all he could out of this was an Aegis. That being said, a TP away, but Pure's not TPing back. He said, you can leave if you want, Ramses. That's fine. I'll carry this game, and I'll finish it off by myself. I mean, TI winners are TI winners for a reason, and Soxa, you just caught him with a cookie. Sometimes that's all it takes for a game to end and for a team to end up in the lower bracket is a sick connection from Soxa on the bottom side of that fight. Takes Hector out. Nothing cast by this Monkey King in the last fight.